Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman. These Cape Crusaders are larger than life superheroes. They have people flocking to the theaters in droves. People are fascinated with superheroes and I believe it's because they lift us up and they make us want to be better than ourselves. And when times are tough, we want to know that there's someone there to rescue us. What's your favorite superhero? My favorite superhero is Buffy the Vampire Slayer. She slayed the demons and the vampires. She always fought for what was right. She saved the world a lot. And she never gave up. In everyday life, we have heroes, those who run towards the danger while the others are going the other way. But the heroes I want to tell you about today, they don't wear a cape. They are blood donors. 40,000 pints of blood are used every day in the United States alone. Up to three lives can be saved with one donation. Every two seconds, someone needs blood. And 20 years ago, one of those lives saved was mine. It was the new millennium. We had survived Y2K. And for once in my life, my things, life was going just perfect. I was strong. I was making plans, and God laughed. One day, after returning home from a, teaching a kickboxing class, I saw the light blinking on my message machine. Remember those? There were messages from my doctor telling me that a routine checkup had led them to that I needed to get to the hospital immediately because my blood levels were dangerously low. I was frightened and shocked. I called my neighbor who lived next door, but I couldn't even speak. She was there at my front door before I even hung up the phone. And she took me to the doctors, to the hospital, where they took my blood. And then they took more. And then they took more. Which is really frightening because, hey, dangerously low blood levels. Well, it turns out that I have a rare bone marrow disease. My bone marrow had stopped making blood. And without blood, you die. Life is in the blood. The only cure known today, a bone marrow transplant, I was not a candidate. But fortunately, they have an alternate treatment that put me into remission. And I was in and out of remission the past 19 years. But I have not had a treatment in nine years. But during my battle, there were months at a time where I was transfusion dependent. My life depended on the blood of strangers. I was a vampire. With my, my heroes, the blood donors, and my team of doctors, I have fought back the vampires in me. Others with my disease are not so lucky. The treatment fails, and they become dependent on other people's blood for life, or worse, die. And consider cancer patients or those with liver and kidney failure. They all need blood. Victims of accidents and tra tragedies all need blood. It generally takes a tragedy for people to show up in droves to donate. But while 40% of Americans qualify to 
give blood, only about 5% really do. My husband has donated most of his adult life, and now he donates to give back for me. He was recently told that his donations that they have recorded have saved up to 200 lives. He truly is my hero. Now I understand getting stuck with a needle can be really frightening, but when you are fighting for your life or the life of a loved one, you forget about that really quickly. So to give blood is to give life. It saves lives. But it also, if you donate, your um, blood cells regenerate. And they give you a free checkup. They give you cookies and juice when you're done. People have to be nice to you because they give you a sticker that says so. So, bottom line, giving blood saves lives and cookies are good. You can donate up to five times a year. And remember, 40,000 pints of blood are used every day in the U.S. alone. Up to three lives can be saved. Every two seconds, someone needs blood. It only takes one hour to save a life. So like my hero, Buffy, I'll keep slaying the vampire in me. You don't need a cape to save a life like mine. Donate blood. Be a hero.